My name's Colin Lane, this is Lawrence Mooney, this is Cover Tea with Cole, or Cotwork, where we drink tea and chat. We look into that camera to make it feel better about itself. Are you a married man? I am a married man. Is and it going well? Yes. I think uh, marriage is good, and the, the thing with... I know a, a, an advertising executive who yes. was telling me about how men and women approach marriage. Yes. And yes, I am enjoying marriage a lot. Good. But good. I wasn't keen on the idea early on. And this replicates most men's process through marriage. They resist coming to it. They're not happy with the idea. Whereas a woman loves the idea of getting married. Generalisations. Generalisations. Yes. And when you gen generalise across the gender divide, you're always going to fall into sure. contradictions. Yes. But generally speaking, this study found that women start very satisfied and men not so much. And then men get to a point of status quo where they love being married, mm -hmm. but they stop evolving, and a woman becomes increasingly dissatisfied with the man. Because he stopped evolving? Because he stopped evolving and doesn't want change. He doesn't want to change the kitchen, or go overseas, or move house, or start a new hobby, or have another child, or any of that stuff. And she becomes increasingly dissatisfied. Then she decides to leave, and men are left with this phrase, I didn't see it coming. And that is what happens to most men at the end of their marriages when their women have walked away. So my advice to you, you are <laughs> shitting yourself right now. You go, I'm going to start a new hobby. I'm going to the CAE. I'm going to ring my wife now and ask her whether she's happy, whether she's satisfied. She's not satisfied. She's dissatisfied. And so you've got to do as much as you can to make her satisfied. Do you think that there's God, not, not made to, myself? I know. <laughs> Do you think there's an issue with perhaps the woman not uh, communicating or articulating that concern, well, or, or is it just a bit of this is stereotypical, of course, but the dumb male kind of going, oh, oh, oh did you really mean that? Or well, it's just I, 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 I guess thought you were just joking. Or it's just probably being a bit more uh, conscious of yourself, you know, that self-knowledge, thinking, am I just continually going in a little bit of a rut like a dog running around a back garden? Yeah. And I just do the same thing year in, year out, without sitting down and saying, why don't we do something exciting? Yeah. That's, the, you know, throwing in some ideas, bringing stuff new to the, to the household. And to I would dare say, mm. and I don't want to pat us on the back here, but showbiz folk, do have kind of like evolving lives. We do different projects, we travel to different places, we've got, you know, we're surrounded by interesting people. Which is a source of great joy, but then sometimes it's a source of great despair as well. So it's not all no, that, just apples. That insecurity has its stresses, but it also has the advantage of creating something new and pushing you in different directions. Yes. So I would say... And being frightened a little yeah, bit every, and that every so often. That is kind of the opposite of just relaxing into the status quo of your life, getting fat. So is this a telly. theory or do you learn this from a friend of yours? You a friend of mine who's an, ex uh, an advertising executive with George right. Patterson's did this huge study on married couples mm. and there were these big trends. Was this to serve humanity or was it to serve them selling more washing powder, it's do you think? Absolutely the latter. Advertising yes. companies do these massive studies that would ultimately serve humanity if used for good rather than purely mercantile reasons to find a little pinhole to market yes. a product to, you know, insurance is basically saying this and there's a massive amount of insurance ads on the television. You worked hard to get it and someone's going to take it from you. <laughs> you worked hard to get it and some guy's going to smash it up. So well, you, you better insure it. it. Yeah. Do you really love your stuff? Insure it or someone is going to take it from you. Yes. But they say, hey, yeah. come to us. We insure and we're friendly. We've got a girl with a headset on. That's right, who's got a really nice smile yeah. and expensive teeth. So it's all about manipulating your insecurities. And so have you articulated this to your wife? Or did, or did, and she kind of went, I can see that. Or did she, or as in she's the cat's mother, her name's Lou, but yeah. did she, she, did she, did she see, did she kind of go, 
That's, she was that's at the right. dinner party uh, where as this well. was being shared, and she said she'll never let that happen. Mm -hmm. So she makes plans, and I just go along with them. And I think that that's part of being in a relationship is, you know, if somebody comes to you with a crazy scheme, don't poo-poo it. Don't mm. go, nah, mm. let's not do that. Mm. They go, let's go trekking. You go, I don't like trekking. Yeah, because before we actually started rolling this episode, Lawrence was talking about these these drawers, and I said they're great drawers. They're like expensive, they and they shut slowly. Yeah, and my wife, she wants to move, and I'm going no. But can do you we think take I the should, drawers? Do you think I should say that we should move? Absolutely, you should as long as we can take the drawers. Yeah, and I think that also moving is a great thing, in that you have to do a, an inventory of what you've got, mm. all this shit that you've collected, and make a decision. Are we moving with this or are we taking it down to the brotherhood? Mm. You know, are we... What are or, we what about, or what about your wife suddenly says, we're moving, or actually, not we, I'm me. moving. <laughs> yeah. I'm moving. So if she says, let's move, yes. I would take the cue and go, I'm being included in yes, that, yes, let's go. Yes, as opposed to I'm moving. And you know, change is very good. It helps to stimulate. You know, change of city. Go and find your new favourite restaurant or coffee shop. How long have you been here, Cole? Well, that's the thing. I've been here since 97. Yeah, it's too long. It's You've too got to go. Long. Okay, see okay, you later. Let's go. Bye okay, now. Bye now. See you, see you later. The dog's outside. He's keen to go. I've got, I've got to go and pack. Yep, I'm gonna help him. Yep, we're All gonna right. move. Okay, you've been here 20 Take, years. See, those napkins, you they've been in these. that drawer for about you've seven got, years and never used them, probably. No, you've got a lot of napkins. Yep. You've even got a little look IKEA look pack. How many of, look how many napkins What's, we've got. And how long is it look, since you had a baby? Yeah. You don't need a beard. <laughs> oh, no, Jesus. That's, that's for me. Um, right. Look, yeah. That's, for you to dribble into. <laughs> That's right. When you lose your faculties. When I'm watching you know, Late Line in bed. God. Just, oh, oh, look at the world. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That. More, look, more. Look at how many napkins we've got. got we a have lot dinner of parties for 60,000 people? Never. No. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'll take the butter as well. Napkins and butter. Yeah. See no. you later, everyone. Bye. I'm moving. You, got, you should move. <laughs> I'm moving. Let's go and get some cardboard boxes from the... the Drive through. Okay. See ya. See you, everyone. I don't need that.